Hello, my name's Ashley Shaw and I'm here today to report to you the news that the news doesn't want you to know. The world's mainstream media have stayed silent on the most recent Israeli um, violation of the ceasefire. Earlier this week, Israeli forces who control the entrance to those who want to pray in the Al-Aqsa Mosque, limiting the ages to 50 upwards, um, they attacked the Al-Aqsa Mosque, locking the people inside it and later rampaging and destroying um, and desecrating parts of the building. None of this has been reported. You can guarantee that if a synagogue had been treated in such a despicable way that the world would have been jumping up and down with outrage. Yet the world stays silent. Our governments and our media are silent on this matter. So understandably the Palestinian people have been coming out in force uh, to protest against this action and there have been violent clashes between Israeli forces and Palestinians ever since. Um, not just restricted to Jerusalem but all over Palestine for understandable reasons. And Hamas have not retaliated by bombing Israel. They have All they have done is call for other Muslims to come and protect the mosque. Now, Israel have no right anyway to control who goes in and out of the mosque. Never mind what they've done to it this week. So, during clashes um, yesterday, we had the sad news that Israel shot and killed two 13-year-old boys, one of which was shot through the heart with a live bullet. Now, if this crime had been committed uh, by any other country, can you imagine it being committed in, in America and not being reported? The world would go absolutely mad if America or any other country had shot and killed two teenagers, two young boys, two innocent young boys. Yet what happens? The world stays silent. The world stays completely silent. No condemnation. No condemnation of Israel for their actions. Yet again, they have violated the ceasefire. If the killing of two innocent teenage boys isn't a violation of, violation of a ceasefire, then I don't know what is, and I really do despair for humanity. The world media are not reporting this, so it's our duty to spread the word and let everybody know exactly what Israel have been doing this week. On their fi Facebook and Twitter pages, the, both IOF and Netanyahu are very quiet about it because you just can't PR this away. So they are being silent. So it's our duty to spread the word and let people know exactly what's been happening this week. Israel have violated the ceasefire by shooting dead two 13-year-old boys with live ammunition. This is a disgrace. The world should be standing up horrified. And it's our job, our duty, to ensure that everybody understands the truth that the world media and governments are trying to hide from us. Free Palestine.